JoJo Science Show! Hello, welcome to JoJo Science Show. Today I'm going to show you my 3D printer and how 3D printing works. Play that montage music! I have an original Prusa printer that uses a plastic called PLA, which stands for polylactic acid. Plastics go from hard to soft and stretchy at a temperature known as the TG, or the glass transition temperature. <laughs> you can think of it as the melting temperature of the plastic. So the 3D printer heats the plastic filament past its TG. When it's in a soft state, it deposits it one layer at a time and moves up until it forms the object you're trying to print. In a 3D printer, you have three axes for the three dimensions. The X, Y, and Z. Here's X, here's Y, and Z goes up and down, like that. Like the alphabet, X, Y, Z. <laughs> we made this from the 3D printer. Nice, I like this. My super awesome flying wings. This, this is a fidget spinner. Pretty cool, right? You spin it like that. This is an air spinner we 3D printed. This one is just like a fidget spinner, only you don't spin it in your hand. You blow on it to get it to spin, and you have to lay it down to get it to spin. <gasps> cool, right? So how do you print something in 3D? I'll show you how easy it is. First, we go to this website called Thingiverse, where people have made all these 3D models. We got the air spinner on Thingiverse thanks to this designer. You could also go to another website called My Mini Factory. First, we're going to print this minion phone holder made by this designer on My Mini Factory. So we will download the model, and then we have the computer slice up this model into layers. <laughs> So we load the 3D model into a slicer program. The slicer program creates the instructions for the 3D printer, telling it where to extrude the plastic for each layer. First we open our 3D model, then the slicer program cuts it into layers. We can see what each layer looks like, and the printer prints each one of these layers in plastic. The printer speaks a language called G-code which are instructions that tell each of the four motors where to move to extrude the plastic for each layer and how much to heat the extruder to melt the plastic. Computer G code H for me. I'm just kidding, that's not even close. So here is the minion printing in time lapse. This is how the three parts of the minion were printed. Now we will glue them together. and paint them, and then you get this. See how easy it's holding up the phone? Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> 10 experiments with light. Look at all the small details you can see. And you can barely see the layers because the, because the printer lays down very thin layers. Isn't that amazing? Yay! Yay! <laughs> also printed the minion in ABS, which is the same material as Lego. Nice. Hey minion, you want to come work for me? We're the same plastic. Thanks for watching JoJo Science Show. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so that you can see all my fun videos. And remember kids, science is fun! I nailed that, huh?